Hello and welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. My name is Jason Webster. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, today I thought we'd spend a little, little time talking about some of the fertility work that we've been doing at the PTI farm. And one of the trials I want to talk about today is our banded versus broadcast dry fertilizer study. So as we look at you know, standard fertility programs that a lot of farmers utilize, broadcast spreading is probably one of the most popular. Um, in our area in central Illinois, there's a lot of acres, you know, I would say the majority of acres being broadcast spread with spinner trucks like you see on the screen right here. This is a very popular way of applying dry fertilizer. One of the things that we've really enjoyed doing at the PTI farm is banding fertilizer. I've got a strip till rig and I've really enjoyed strip tilling because one of the major advantages that comes along with strip tilling has been banding the, the dry nutrients in the bottom of my tillage strip. And this has really offered us some really nice efficiencies as we look at our overall fertility program. And when we first started doing side-by-side -side testing of banded dry fertilizer versus broadcast applications of dry fertilizer, we started this back in 2020, and we quickly realized there's some nice gains to be had by banding fertilizer. In 2020, we picked up 17.6 bushel increases in corn from banding, you know, placing that fertilizer um, right in a concentrated strip right underneath the row. And when we take these yield advantages times the price of corn and, and less the cost of the system, we were picking up additional revenue, net revenue of $52.30 an acre. We thought, wow, we, we talk about this all the time at, at the PTI farm. What can we do on our farm to make an extra $50 an acre? We talk about this every single day when we invite growers to come see us at the, at the research farm. And here we've got one of those, a $52 winner, just by how we place, you know, how we place our fertilizer in the row. We did this again this past year in 2021. We replicated the same study and we again found some advantages at $30.40 to the acre. Still saw some nice revenue gains from this type of system. And so we're going to continue this in the future. This is actually one of our 10-year uh, studies at the PTI farm. You know, I, I, I've, what I've learned over time is that I need to be more patient and I need more time to look at things and evaluate different programs at the research farm. And I'm really proud of, of the way we're designing some of these long-term, these 10-year studies to really look at long-term effects of, of studying fertility. And so this is year two of this banding efficiency trial. We're gonna keep doing this again over the next 10 years and really get a good look at this. Now, we all know what's happening with the price of fertilizer, DAP and potash, just historical high prices, high costs, of this fertility. And one of the things, one of the questions that's been very popular as we talk about this banded versus broadcast dry fertilizer program is, well, Jason, if, if you're banding fertilizer, can you actually reduce the rate seeing that you're putting it in a high concentrated band? Is that more efficient? And if so, can I put less fertilizer on to save a little bit of money due to these, these high costs? And, and that's a legitimate question. It's a fair question. And so I thought this really needs to be part of this 10 year study because we all know as growers, we could probably reduce the amount of fertilizer we put on in one or two years, but what's gonna happen if we do the, those, those same reductions three years, four years, five years, even 10 years down the road. I wanna look at what happens to soil test values. I wanna see what happens to any yield reductions. And then I wanna look at cash flow. I wanna look at what this is gaining or costing me every single year in, in regard to return on investment. So to do this, we're doing our side-by-side -side testing with 100% broadcast versus band rates, but then I reduce by 25% we'll have 75% rate efficiency testing out in the field, 50%, 25%. And I thought just for fun, we'll go ahead and shut the gate down and we'll look at zero fertilizer as well, again, over the next 10 years. This will be really interesting to see the results over this, this, this long-term study. Now, I know it's only year one, but th these are year one results 
from this rate efficiency study. And I just thought today I'd share with you the results from this. We're gonna, we're gonna start in the lower left corner of this graph. You'll see the darker blue bars. These are my 100% rates of fertilizer. This is where we soil tested and said, okay, we need to build our soil up to these levels and we're gonna maintain at these yield goals. That, would, that allowed me to, to produce the fertilizer recommendation at 100% totals. The, the blue bar on the left at the 100% rate is my banded applications. The one to the right is broadcast and you will see, even at the 100% rate, band beat the broadcast dry applications. Now, let's reduce dry fertilizer by 25%. Let's start applying not 100% rates, let's go to 75% rates. We're gonna move over on the graph to the light blue bars and you'll again notice that band beat the broadcast applications once again. Let's go a little bit further. Let's reduce our fertilizer to 50% rates now. These are the orange bars on the screen. But look, the trend continues. Band beat the broadcast once again. Matter of fact, band beat broadcast in every single scenario. Even when we go to the green bars where we're only 25% of our total fertilizer being applied, band still beat the broadcast. So very interesting seeing the efficiencies of banding versus broadcast applications of dry fertilizer. Here's where it all comes down to, and this is why I really, really couldn't wait to, to look at the numbers because this tells the whole story. The orange, uh, orange bar on this graph is status quo. That's how most growers, at least in our area, are applying fertilizer, just broadcasting it on from their, uh, from their spinner trucks. And now we start banding. We say, okay, if, if we're gonna band, let's, let's look at the rate efficiencies. Let's look at a 75% rate of fertilizer. And ladies and gentlemen, that was a $49 winner versus my status quo 100% rate of fertilizer. Let me say this again. I reduced my rates of fertilizer by 25% and I made an extra $49 of the acre by doing it. Let's go one step further. Let's cut my dry fertilizer rates in half. And look at this. This actually did the best in the study and we're bringing in over $52 an acre net profit by doing this. Where I got into trouble in this first year study was where I reduced too much fertilizer. The yellow bar on the graph is where I reduced fertilizer totals to only 25% of my total needs for, represented from my soil test. And I lost money on that. The other one I lost money on was where I didn't apply any fertilizer at all. Again, this is just one year of the 10-year of the study. And we all know, I mentioned it earlier, you could probably put less fertilizer on one year or two years and maybe get away with it. I'm gonna find out what happens when I do this for the next 10 years. And it's really gonna be interesting to understand what happens to soil test results, what happens to the yield, what happens to profitability. So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is banding nutrients offers precision placement with improved plant availability. And along with that, what we're seeing right now is rate efficiency. Our new 10 year band versus broadcast study is showing us that we could actually reduce rates of fertilizer by 25 to 50% and we were making more money by doing it. Now, this is early in the stages of this 10 year study, just year one, we're gonna continue looking at this to see if this is sustainable, okay? But one of the, one of the neat long-term studies we have at the PTI farm. And remember, with these rate efficiencies, it allowed us to make 49 to 52 extra dollars per acre. It was improved profitability with this type of banded system. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about today, you can do one of two things. One, you can reach out to any Precision Planting Premier dealer. They'd love to talk with you about this. Or secondly, you can send us an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanting.com. That's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.